Morning guys, happy Saturday, hope you're all well. Doesn't seem possible this time last week, I was on my way to see Liam Gallagher at Nebworth. To those who went, as you're well aware, it was absolutely awesome. Today, I'm gonna to kick start off with a little trip into town because I wanna pick some bits up for Marzi's birthday. And then we're off for lunch at my sister's, so come join us. Becky Bex. Ah. All right. Right, Bethy Garfield. I'm going to give him this Perina Senior in chicken, gravy, and green beans. And we now give him a U move in his breakfast as well. Nice, Bubba. Right, I'll just drink this gallon of tea. Maybe two or three of them. Once Garfield's had his breakfast, he likes to relax for a few minutes, don't you, Bubba? Settle his belly. Seems like ages since we've done a chilled weekend vlog. Last weekend, like I say, was the Liam Gallagher gig at Nebworth, and the weekend before was the massive MCM Comic Con. If you've not seen those previous vlogs, check them out. Looks like it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day again. Right, while Marjorie's outside brushing Garfield, I'm just going to do us some breakfast. I ain't got a lot of this left, but this is absolutely delicious if you've not tried it. It's granola Hawaiian. And I'm going to have some of this Alpen Simply Berries, which isn't great, but we've got to do a food shop later, so we'll be able to stock up. And there you go. I'm now going to shoot in the town, try and get Marzi her birthday bits. I'll see you there. Right, I'm all parked up, and I couldn't come into the town without having a look at the beach and the pier. It's only now half eight in the morning. So quiet. The weather is gorgeous. It's gonna be a pretty hot one, I reckon. There's the church. It's one of my favourite shops in Cromer. It's not open yet because obviously I'm here super early. Pretty cool longboard in the window. Do nice t-shirts and hoodies in here as well. I have got to get my purchase for Marzi's birthday. Right, purchase successful. Next stop, Mozza's. Well, it definitely makes sense to get these jobs done nice and early. The town is super quiet at the moment. I've not got that many bits to get, so this shouldn't take too long. Cereal, cereal. This is the one. Oh, it's on offer, 150. Gotta have your biscuit, bro. Just look how quiet it is. These are new. Raspberry donut. Banana split. See if there's anything new for Garfield. If not, we'll have a look in Asda a bit later. He don't mind these Webox, but they don't have the senior one in here. Just gotta get my spicy mayo dip and we're done. Well, this is where it normally is, but I can't see it. Oh, well. Right, that's the shopping done. Even got Lily a couple of bucket hats. Lauren will like them. See you back home. Right, I'm now back. Let's get this stuff put away. Right, we're now off to my sisters. See you on the road. We're now at my sister's, she's gonna make me a lovely cuppa. Oh, my sister's now making me a yummy sarnie. Marzi's having a quiche salad. I'm having a sandwich of kings. Cheese, salad, cream and crisps. I squirt that on well. <laughs> that is a beast. Oh, look at these yummy cakes. Lily, do you want to try your bucket hat on I bought you? So you can be like Liam Gallagher. Oh, don't you look gorgeous? Hey! You got your rattle? You clever. Well, that's lovely seeing my sister and her little family. And we're now going to pop to Asda because we've got a couple more food bits to get. So we'll see you there. 
Oh, I was he spotted some bedding plants on the way in. Oh, we're on a multi bike. A quick browse in George, as you do. Quick browse in the men's section. Don't know why they've got some retro shirts. Rig and Morty. Honolulu Waikiki Kiss, blimey. It's an old school. What have we got down here? California State. Over bang. Oh, that's some quite cool pyjamas. <laughs> Loving the Cookie Monster ones. I don't actually mind this Honolulu one, just for chilling out around the house. It's only a fiver. You want two of these? If you've not tried their own spotted pepperoni pasta bake, it's absolutely lovely. Right, I need to find that spicy mayo. Something similar. Oh, they've got a big spicy mayo here. Give our world. Oh, they've got new flavoured squashies. Banana and blueberry. I'll get them. Well, it's super busy in here, so I'm not going to film anymore. So we'll see you guys back home. Oh, we're now back from Norwich. It's a little bit cooler here than what it was earlier on. A bit of a breeze. Funny enough, there's some black clouds up there, so hopefully it won't rain. But we're now going to chill out for the rest of the evening. We've got some gins and uh, we've got loads of like snacky bits for tonight. So we're going to have a sort of Buffy style tea. Love a Buffy. Hello, my boy. Come out for an explore. Marzi's strawberry plants. Look like we're starting to get some, what do you call it, on the bud. Right, I'm gonna go in and make us both a drink. I did offer to cut the rest of the grass, but she's happy doing it, so I'll make us a gin and tonic. We have got gin in the pantry, but these pink gin and grapefruit pre-done cans from Lidl's, they are absolutely lovely. There you go, Marissa. Coming. Well, the sun's made an appearance again. It's absolutely gorgeous out here now. Cheers, everyone. Well, I heard some interesting news today. Apparently, from tomorrow, you no longer need pre COVID testing to go to America. So, who knows for next year? Right, snack time. We've got this cheese and onion focaccia, cheesy coleslaw. We've got these black pudding scotch eggs, tomato pepperoni pasta salad, pork pies, chicken and bacon pasta, and creme fresh potato salad. This is gonna be yum. Look at the size of the black pudding scotch egg. It's like a cricket ball. Oh, this tomato and pepperoni pasta salad look nice. Well, this should do me for starters. Check out the inside of the Scotch egg. Right guys, that was a lovely chill day. We're gonna end the vlog for this Saturday and I'll see you in the morning. Morning guys, it's the next day, happy Sunday. God, it was so hot last night, I could barely sleep. So I just had my shower. And today we're gonna do a walk along the cliff tops to Overstrand. Um, we're gonna take some food and that with us and then do the walk back along the beach. Looks like it's gonna be an absolute scorcher again, so enjoy. Gonna kick start the day off with some of this Hawaiian crunch again. We topped up when we went food shopping yesterday. Like I say, it's definitely worth a try, it's lovely. Little Garfield starting his day off with a nice little nap. It's lovely and cool in this living room. Right, I'm gonna make some tucker to take with us on this little walk. I think I'll do us a wrap each for starters. Oh, these tomatoes look good. Massive. So there you go. Tomato salad, cheese, cheesy coleslaw. I'll just wrap these up. Ta-da! There we go, little pack up sorted. Right, let's get the show on the road. We'll see you on our travels. Right, so we're now at the start of our walk. 
It's roughly three miles to Overstrand. We'll walk along the promenade for a bit and then up past the lighthouse. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. I'll just show you our view as we travel along the promenade. See those people from the surf school out and about? And this is where you can handle, hire all your surfboards and paddle boards, etc. Wouldn't mind doing the paddle board at some point. I reckon that'd be quite a good laugh. Loads of nice little cafes down here. This one does a cracking breakfast, a lifeboat. And then you've got the Rocket Cafe in front with its nice balcony area. See all the crabbing boats. So we're now come at the end of the beach huts. There's literally hundreds. You can see how far we walk, there's chrome up here. And as we get to the end here, on the left hand side is where the famous Banksy picture is. I'll quickly show you. And there it is. I remember when this was first done, there was people everywhere trying to get photos of this. It's pretty awesome. Right, as we continue this way to the steps up to the lighthouse. This is such a lovely walk and because you're away from the pier now there's always a lot less crowds there's a slight breeze but it's not a bit cold it's actually really nice and refreshing all the greenery on the cliff tops well, we had a change of plan there's the steps going up the cliff top to the lighthouse but like i just said to marzi we're probably better off doing that route on the way back because then it's all downhill so we're just going to keep along the beach for now we're really enjoying the walk anyway so lovely look out there in the distance and if i can focus you see the uh, lifeboat steaming ahead try not to get wet feet literally right on the shoreline Well, we're now about two miles in, one mile left to go. You see in the background there, Chrome up here. It's currently low tide. It normally takes about four hours for the tide to come in, so we should be right there. We'll just spot the little rock island. I've had my old swim shorts on, I could have troshed my way through that. Oh, Marzi just made a point. We're gonna have to walk around. Locked in. Well, we made it round there. To say to Helen and Martin's treks, we weren't quite up at the Crag of Sparrows for this walk. What's it say down here? Come to the USA next year, Beach Life 78. Well, I might well do. When you look at the top of this cliff top. That's the actual route we'll be coming back. It goes alongside the golf club, so you get some really nice views. It does get ever so warm up there though, because there's a lot of gorse. But yeah, really enjoyable walk, and we've not actually done this since uh, they announced COVID, so it's been a few years. Marzilla plodding away in the distance. Hi, Marza. Well, we're coming to the end of the beach section of this walk. You can see in the distance the slope going up to Overstrand. There's a nice little cafe up there. I think Marzi fancies a latte. Of course, the old temperature's gone up a few degrees and that wind has totally dropped now. Last push, Marza. Just that steep old hill to go now. There it is. Goliath. Right. Let's do this. I almost feel like you're at a 45 degree angle. The 
doesn't show it as much on the actual video. Oh, not as agile as I used to be. Oh, it's for an overstrand. Got a little crab and lobster place there. This is the little cafe we we're talking about. Do nice cakes. Please, please, she's got her latte. And I've gone for one of these Fetterman's dandelion and burdock. Been good, no cake today. It's a lovely view, sun shining. That was very nice sitting there. We're going to have a little walk into the village. A little look around there. This is somewhere we would say about maybe coming for a carvery. A sea marge. Absolutely lovely building. Have a little walk around the car park. Nice little outside sitting area at the front. I imagine they have quite a big bit out the back as well. Yeah, I think this is definitely worth a visit at some point. So we're now going to make our way down this quaint little alleyway, which leads us to the top of the clifftop walk back into Chroma. Some lovely little places down here. It's quite an interesting building. Almost looks like either an old lighthouse or like a Shanghai temple or something. There you go, little loop around the village. And that's brought us back out of the cafe there. And the walkway where we came up from the beach. And then you've got the little crab and lobster place here. This is the start of the walk and trail along the cliff top. It's a little bit breezy on here because obviously we're quite high up. But once we get amongst all the gorse and the trees and that, it shouldn't be quite so bad. Anyone for an ice cream? Right, here we go. Looks like this branch has half come down. So we've not been this way for about three years. Hopefully you can still get through here. Blimey, I'm having a duck through here. I think it's all overgrown, Mars. I look like they've made another pathway. I don't think we're going to be able to walk it for a minute. Just going to check this out before we try and go any further. You see, look, that's this, this edge here is the is part of where you'd have gone through that gate. Yeah, yeah, you can see where the old walkway is no longer. This ain't got to be here much longer, is it? I think we'll be all right to walk it, but I don't think it's going to last too much longer. Once we get off this little section here, you're a lot more inland. A bit of a narrow squeeze through here. It's got stung on my knee. It's a nice property there. Look at that garden. Should be a little hole through here towards the golf course. I don't think we'll be doing this walk much more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's the edge there. So you've only really got that's where we just come through. 10, 15 feet. Just about to see up here, over there. Some people now teeing off for their round of golf. Get some lovely views at the top of this hill. Oh, I tell you what, we need to find a picnic bench or something. I am starving. He's just spotted these little benches down here. The view of one of the teas. So I think we're gonna frequent these to have our food. The snow is the floors were made of shells. 
lovely view to have my world famous wraps. Hi Smurfs. Well, while we're eating, we've just been discussing what we're going to have for tea tonight. <laughs> and uh, we've opted for bought fish and chips from Roughton Fish and Chip Shop. They are absolutely delicious, so stand by for those. Right, nice spot of lunch. Back to the trail. This is where it's now going to get warm. Walking through all the gorse. Don't know about you, Mars, but it seemed quite weird doing it this way around because normally we walk along the cliff top into the strand and then the beach back, but yeah. it's actually made quite a nice change. That would be the only thing I'd like, and that ain't actually got something to do with the game. The views. Would be the views, but I can go up and just look about looking all the while. So let's just turn around and get one more last look at the view. Whoa, I'm panting. Well, we're now approaching the last part of this cliff top walk. Little hill leading up to the lighthouse. And then we have views down into Cromer. And there we go in the distance. The first view of Cromer Lighthouse. You can actually stay in that. I said it a million one times, I'd love to do it. I did actually have a look and it is quite pricey. If anybody who works there? Well, let me have the room for the night. I'll be more than happy to do a review. I'll tell you what, if you're just a spectator of golf, it's an absolute cracking course to come to. Loads of nice little viewing positions. There we go. Now the descent. Yeah, I'll wait for me, Mars. That's more so she can catch me if I fall. Right, we're gonna wrap this weekend vlog up, guys. I was gonna hang about and put the fish and chips on later, but I will, we wanna watch it this afternoon, so. Cheers for sticking around, cheers for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.